Hey guys, Sean Evans here at Lift Hills and Thrills and we're at an attraction that we've never done before despite coming to Blackpool how many times? A thousand? Thousand and a one. A thousand and one. This Blackpool Zoo. We've got all these um, prints going up to the, the entrance here. I'm getting major service station vibes. Okay, so they've got the new big cat enclosure. I'm not sure if they'll be on display or if they've been relocated because they're getting a new facility in 2023. But if we don't see any big cats, at least we've got dinosaurs. They are huge. Wow. Not that dinosaurs are in any way, shape or form these small, but real. these are massive, massive models. You get the little tortoise section. And he's just, he's just having a, a wander around down there. He's pretty quick. Very adorable. He is pretty quick. It's like the Hussein Bolt of tortoises. Nice little bit of theming so far. Mm. It's definitely bigger than I thought it would be. What a nice little eating space over here on the right. It's a shame that they're closed though. Oh, loaded fries and street food. <laughs> Why? Why? Why are you closed? Dancing with a dragon, it says. Why are you closed? Dancing with a dragon, oh. We have found the land of the elephants. There's one right down there. And there's also a little base camp that you can go inside. And uh, let's see how many are in there. Project Elephant. It's huge in here. Wow. You smell that elephant in the morning. <laughs> and there's a lot of elephants. <laughs> there's, including the one outside, there's six I can see. <laughs> that is a big enclosure. A very, very big enclosure. It's not a Top Gun museum. It's the world of wings. It's like a little... A little leading project, didn't he? They have a camel show where camels perform tricks for you. Does it actually say tricks? No. no. Does it say what? <laughs> We're staying. Oh, yeah, baby. Lick that camel neck. What's up? Llama. <laughs> What's up? Llama? What's up, llama? Yeah. I like how there's, there's, there's no emotion. Where's teeth out? While well, he's dropping trow. Is that why they go to Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> there's way too much footage. I'm turning it off now. There's no one to over there. Uh, if we just come up to the back, you can see the spring 2023 construction for the, the new big cat enclosure. So that'll be the lions and the tigers. And it stretches all the way down to about there. So it looks like it's got like a main outdoor space and then you've got like a, a viewing window. State of the art modern facility, increased indoor space, extended external paddocks and improved keeper facilities. Oh, it stretches all the way down here as well. Oh yeah, that's nice. Big cat house. It's a shame that they're closed. It's a shame. Well, where do they keep the lions and the tigers then once they... That's what I want to know. Oh, it goes all the way down there. definitely much bigger than I was expecting. Yeah, it's, it's huge. It's huge. See, this is something you'd expect when you come to Blackpool. It says giraffe heights and then you just get that. <laughs> That's definitely a Blackpool thing. But no, there are actually giraffes here. They're just on the other side. <laughs> Posing. <laughs> Got some sass in that giraffe. Yeah. 
What I like about everything I've seen so far is all the houses are accessible for wheelchair users and mobility scooters. And that's something you don't see at the smaller zoos, so that's cool to see it at Blackpool. We're in the monkey house where there's monkeys. Move along now, move along, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here, move along. Yeah, down here we've got a nice little kids area, some games over on the far corner there. And a little play area. Very nice, very nice. Playing? Are they fighting? Play fight. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Oh no. Oh, where's he going? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's like giving him a hug, and I was like, I'm just gonna, gonna go around, go around, look at that ass. And that was the end of the orangutan show. Stay tuned for episode two next week to see who kicks the out of who. Well, all the gorillas are inside today. And his teeth. This is this literally threw him like he was like made of nothing. What? What's that? Water's always so clean. <laughs> There's more flamingos there than there is at Flamingo Land. I am the captain now. We've got two layers of hair, one for rain and one for warmth. Wallaby walk them out. I've said this so many times now, but these spaces are ridiculously big. Good thing though. Mm -hmm. It's a very good thing. You just don't see it much. <laughs> so there we go from Blackpool Zoo much better than I anticipated I shouldn't have judged before we came because I Never thought judge. it was going to be terrible <laughs> But it's much bigger space than I was expecting. Enclosures were massive. It's well maintained. It's clean. It's tidy. The animals looked happy enough, apart from that sad little owl. That was just like. I think he was just contemplating life. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. Unusual thing is you have to pay for parking. Yes, three pounds for parking. It's a little expensive to get in. It's twenty three pounds to get in, but for what you see, it's certainly everything you need to see yeah. other than the tigers and lions so wherever they are you're still paying 23 pounds and you're not going to be able to see them till spring next year so that's a shame mm -hmm. but other than that a nice day out it's not bad hit the like button hit that subscribe button we'll see you in the next one bye